Hello everybody, I'm about to make a video on something that I don't normally do it on. It's something I do a lot of, reading. I am a reader. I'm a student too, so uh, i got to read books I don't want to read. Lots of macroeconomics, microeconomics, stuff like that. But we're talking about reading for enjoyment. And I kind of like that. Wait, before we go any farther, Soda Streams, Dr. Pete, like Dr. Pepper? Yes, just as good. Anyway, Shannon Riddler is one of my favorite YouTubers. She does a lot of really cool uh, sci-fi reviews on like older sci-fi movies, Wasp Woman, stuff like that. And uh, she's got an infectious laughter. I mean, you will get in a better mood by watching this girl's videos. Subscribe. Shannon Riddler, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to her. So here it is. She did a Monday meme reading habits video. And uh, I gave her a response. But I wanted to give it like a decent, cool response in a... I don't know if it's cool or not. But I want to give a uh, video, video response because I like to every once in a while. I check it on my comments and I'll watch people's videos and comment on them. But uh, it's nice to get a good video response in every once in a while. And here I go. Monday meme questions are about reading habits. Again, Shannon Riddler, subscribe. Uh, number one, do you read tree books or ebooks? I read both. Uh, I had a Kindle for a while and uh, I loved it. But then I upgraded to the iPad and I realized that I could have Kobo and Kindle both on the iPad. It did not have as good a, uh, what, what do you call that, ink, ink, then as the, as what an actual Kindle or, or a Kobo. So yeah, down the road, if I can get it for cheap enough, I'm probably going to pick up another Kindle for uh, traveling purposes. Uh, but uh, I read on, I read e-books and I read real books. If I have a book that's a digital, I probably got it in my library. In, a, in, a, in actual format. And if I don't, I used to, and I'm on my way to getting it again. I'm all for supporting the artists. I'm all supporting the people. And here's the one place that I like to see uh, that I don't mind digital so much. And, and it's a reading because a lot of people can publish their stuff through Amazon uh, that they may not have been able to publish because it had been too expensive to publish it through an actual uh, uh, book company. you got binding. You have, like, uh, to get it out there. you got to get into bookstores. But people can publish independently. Kind of like you can do on, uh, on video game systems and consoles and on com and, uh, some computers. So uh, for that reason, I can support digital book books as much as I can, e tree books, but I read both, and I read both in equal amounts. But just for convenience sake, recently I've read a lot more e-books than I have read tree books, but uh, hey, I pick up magazines, I buy comics, I buy my, uh, like, every volume of Fables, every volume of Lock and Key, I like my comics too. Don't just read their other stuff. I read a lot of nonfiction. I like a lot of uh, books on movies, books on biographies, and stuff like that. I used to read a lot of H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, I read a lot of uh, Clive Barker, uh, Game, and I read a lot of the guys that I uh, that I found fun. Stephen King, of course, and uh, both. Number one. Number two. Do you like to buy or borrow books? For a while, I spent a lot of time at the library, and I mean a lot of time. I read my entire library full through when I was in a, in high school and it was a small town so yeah there's not much else to do and I was a geeky guy which you know it's totally changed from now because I'm it's not like I'm geeky now or anything but yeah so uh, I borrowed a lot of books but uh, I, uh, I paid it forward and now I buy a lot of books I will buy and buy and buy and buy because I like books especially on movies and stuff I want right so bad right now there's a book called the slasher book uh, Every horror fan's got to put me. I'm deprived, I tell you. It's a book I need. Uh, looking forward to getting it. I really want it. And right now... <clears throat> uh, oh, last question, so I'm not going to get to it yet. But... Hmm, I just kind of answered a question already. But yeah, I buy books, but I do borrow to, with the, to the library occasionally. If it's something I really like, and I read it, and I know I'm going to read it again, because I'm not one of those one-time readers, I'm going to get that will read a book, and I'll pick it up and I'll read it again. I read The History of Hammer Horror. I don't know how many times. Great book. I read the Paul Nashi uh, biography uh, a few times. Uh, fortunately, I don't have that book. My dad's got it. And uh, uh, zombie films. Just, I read a lot of movie books. Uh, I'm a, a movie geek and uh, proud of it. The movie, music, and book, and video game, geek, media, yeah. Kind of, yeah, that'll, 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 that'll work. Number three, do you read one book at a time or many books at a time? I don't do any one thing at a time. I'm multitasking all the time. 
uh, I'm watching stuff while I'm making videos, while I'm reading, while I'm doing homework, while I'm listening to music, while I'm talking to my better half. And hopefully she doesn't get mad at me because I'm doing it all at the same time. So, no, I don't read one book at a time. I can't. I have to read many books at a time. My interest is... I get into it. Uh, and where I read a lot of non-fiction books, it makes it a lot easier to get into a non-fiction book to read many of them at a time than it would be like a lot of fiction books. A lot of fiction books, you got to really invest yourself into the characters and into the, uh, into the whole into the whole aspect of the whole world and get yourself really into it. But when you're reading Clive Barker, when you're reading your game, and you, get, you have to really invest yourself into the world to really get the full experience of the book. So if you're reading two or three at a time, in that case, then there's part, part of your... Is in like game and verse. Party is in like uh, in Barker verse. Party is in King verse, and you really aren't settled on one. So when I'm reading fiction, I'm pretty much stuck into that book until I finish it. One of my favorite authors, because I am a uh, big fan of uh, film noir and of uh, detective novels and stuff like that. I read Robert B. Parker. I love the Spencer novels. I uh, like the Jesse novels. I love the Women's Murder Club. And of those, once I read, when I'm reading them, I'm reading them, and that's it. And I'm reading one right after another. Hmm, got dark, didn't it? Anyway, that is number three. Wow, I'm actually doing pretty good with this. I thought it was going to take me longer. Do you stick the book until the end or let go of a book before the end? Well, there's very few books that I would have let go of before the end. There are some that bore the crap out of me. And some of them are classics. Bram Stoker's Dracula actually bored me to tears. I did not like it. That is one of the ones I gotta. Be, I love the modern Prometheus, Frankenstein, but I love Strange Case of Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, the Whole Green Door. I did not really get into Bram Stoker's Dracula. I uh, liked some of the aspects that were used in the in the book, but I really didn't do it for me. I wish I could say that it did, but I've read it and I went back years later to see maybe if I was too young when I read the book before, maybe I just couldn't get into it while I was younger. But no. It bored me. But overall, I will stick with the book till the end. Same with the movie, the same with the TV show. I like to give it a chance and give it a chance and give it a chance. I'm a coddler that way. Uh, fifth, what is one book you are reading and one book you want to read? Well, right now, Dr. Pete is so good. Last night, I started rereading the Corman book. <clears throat> well, I was also reading, what was it? Uh, I was reading Horror Hound, the uh, Horror Guide, the Video Hound's Guide to Horror, and uh, Richard Stanley's Creature Features, Revenge of the Creature Features book, uh, John Landis's Monsters at the Movies, and another one. It was probably listed in uh, Shannon's comments when you go and subscribe to her channel. Shannon Riddler, do it. Uh, anyway, and one I'm looking forward to reading. I already said it. I gave it away. I didn't want to. Oh, I hate when I do that. It was like a spoiled ending of a book. One of my favorite books of all time, Murder Inc. As is, is a, it's based on a, like a there's a place in a, in England where they do like sell like mystery novels. It's called Murder Inc. So they have like all the big mystery uh, stories and stuff like that there. So they had a book they put out with uh, essays and stuff on like a different like. Uh, fictional characters and like murder stuff it was a really great book I would love to find that at a store somewhere Cause, uh, I read it and read it and read it and it was one of those and at the back of the book there's this envelope and it's closed up and what it does it takes 10 mysteries I think I think it was about 10 mysteries and it has the ending it said if you cannot wait to know how this mystery ends you can go to this envelope cut it open look pick the mystery and out and it will give you it will spoil it for you it was a spoiler before there was the internet. It was like spoilers. Uh, but uh, one book I want to read, the slasher movie book. Uh, I saw somebody looking at uh, the, who, who got it. Uh, hmm. Claire. I think Claire got it. And she showed it and I was so envious. I want that book. Well, not her copy. That, that would just be mean. But uh, I definitely want to get the book. Uh, there's some really cool stuff in it. I love the pictures in that book. Uh, I'm looking, and I haven't managed to get a copy of Peter Brack's Friday the 13th book. And with the uh, documentary coming out, I would really, really like to do that. So that I could like sit back and watch the documentary. 
and that would take over a weekend because I can't wait to see that one and uh, read the uh, Peter Brack's book afterwards I do have uh, the other book Making Friday 13th which is actually pretty good uh, but uh, and actually I think I might read that tonight so yeah I read a lot I read I, my, I do my channel I go to school I do I do my house chores I'm good with that <coughs> I'm the dishes guy apparently I could be better from the clearing of the throat from the mysterious woman in the background but I'm good with that I remember recently when I did the dishes when somebody else had said to me oh don't worry about the dishes Aaron I'm going to do the dishes 90 minutes later Aaron was putting the dishes in the dishwasher Super uh, partner, super boyfriend, super guy. That's me, chore guy. Yeah. So I think I've answered all your sh questions, there, Shannon, and I've definitely pimped out your your YouTube channel. The same way Exhibit would pimp out a ride on MTV. There, haha! I got in one really freaky ass reference that you never think would come into a book. One score one for me. And right now, for me, uh, I've added the Dr. Pete and let it chill a bit more. I just took it out, just just carbonated and made it. I think right now I'm going to have some tea. So, it's that time again, guys. It's time for tea.